table name. Here we can use the yes, describe table name is employee. Or same query we can write describe employee, even though it will show same thing. Describe of DESC employee. So these two queries are used to describe the table. Now you know how to insert data into the table. You know query right how to insert data into table? In my SQL, you use the query like insert into into table name into table name values of name name is string right so within the single quotation i can use it. in my sql we can use single or double quotation but i think we should give only single quotation next address the address that is also where type i should give within the single quotation Okay, I inserted data here. See, in MySQL, if you want to insert multiple rows or multiple records of data, you are using insert into employee values of uh, values you are giving one uh, one record and second record and third record at a time. Now, if you want to give multiple records of data at a time, in Oracle, we should use query like Insert into insert into employee use if it is number if it is number and person or address or uh, ID the ID comma within the single quotation address the name. it with comma next address bar uh, next is what e address e address so oh, semicolon enter it is using for id one already i inserted two name address Query is somewhat insert into employee values of enter to next uh, Ramo name I give a next address Bangalore. See, I can use this query for inserting multiple data. Now I inserted one record. Now if I inserted another record. And I'm not going to write insert query, just I'm giving slash. That means now you are going to insert another record. If I want to insert another row of data, next enter slash next press enter again it is going to ask for id e name e address we can insert multiple rows of data into the table by using Oracle database. Now, if I want to see or if I want to display the data of table, I can use select a query like MySQL. What we used in MySQL, select a star from 
employee c see here whatever data i inserted the data is displaying by using select query now if i want to see alter the table columns i can use alter query already you know alter query in mysql but we have that alter query in oracle also but uh, the syntax is somewhat different see the syntax alter table employee now i want to add one column to employee table add add salary of employee is at number the data changes are given now table is altered with the column as e sal now if i want to see that column use describe table or display table see the e sal is number one column is added see that column is empty now how can i see the table data by using select query right select star from employee c is the column is created now i want to insert data into e sal or uh, i added one column to table now right next i want to change the data type data type of e salary where we can use modify alter table employee by modify column name is e salary to bad cat to of 20 size i am giving right has modified see how to see this type employee now you can see the e salary type means data type is now where car now where car it has changed now if i want to modify that column again number it must be number right salary type then only we can perform the operation sum operation max salary min salary see how to alter modify equal number now again has changed to number now i want to rename column e salary to sal how can i rename to the column now also i am using alter query alter table employee alter table employee rename column rename column e sal to sal it has altered that means the name has changed here the name it start from emp all the remaining column is added to salary
ki our table name is employee now if i want to drop that column what is the query see alter table employee the table employee drop column drop column column name salary sal now see the employee table column has dropped in this way we can perform alter query for adding the column modifying the data or uh, modifying the data type next renaming the column we can drop that column next we want to add e salary column e salary column and i want to insert data into e salary do you know update query do you know update query yes right i want to update data into e salary but there is no data it is seeing like empty that means in default it contains null value it contains null value now i am going to update e salary column uh, into some salary 10000 or 20000 okay instead of null value so how can i insert or means how can i update the data update update employee e salary equal to 10 10000 where 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 so where e sal is null default it contains null value so where e sal is null the salary going to update a Ten thousand. Check. Now it is updated. See, the salary is updated, right? Next, same. Change the data in e salary ten thousand to twenty thousand of Siva. So how I am going to update salary of Siva? Tell me update for e. Update. employee set equal equal to 20000 where name equal to siva siva is string right yeah okay sorry okay here the name is what what is the column name here e name right e name right now is row is updated now see the data select star from employee now you can perform all operations what we performed by using mysql those are same you know aggregate functions sum average min max first last we can see those aggregate function here see select now i want to know about how many rows of data we have for that i am using query like select count or 
of staff from employee See, here we have number of rows four number of records are four next select sum of L employee you know already we have alias name instead of showing some ESL of column name I can use salary of employee See total sell EMP fifty thousand. Right? Next, if I want to find max salary of employee, you can use query like select max of e sell from employee. Max is salary from employee. If I want to print both max salary, who having max salary from the table. So I print e name, e name, comma, max salary from employee. Select e name, max of e salary. What is the column name here? Select max e salary, comma, e name, employee. employee. E name, okay. Salary. Select max salary. No problem. We can see later this query. Okay. We can show max salary of employee. Or next, I can. So mean salary of employee. In e salary as mean salary from employee. Next average. Average ABC. Same thing I changed here also. Average salary from employee. In this way, I can perform aggregate functions. Next, if I want to display data in ascending order or descending order, how can I display? See, for that, we have query like select start from employee order by order by e name. E name order by e name based on e name it is displaying our data see default we have ascending order 
ascending order a s c default we have ascending order if i want to print in descending order see the query select start from employee order by e name order by column name means e name based on e name we are going to display that is descending descending or desc descending see we are please printing in descending order see in this way we can print our data ascending or descending order ascending or descending order if i want to rename the table i we already rename the column of the table now i want to rename rename table name so how can i rename rename employee old table name to new table name old table name to new table name employee to employee to EMPL okay or EMP already we have table now I can change it to employee one okay employee employee one see now we renamed employee to employee employee to employee one if I want to search of search data of employee not available because we changed our table name now see our employee one table having the data or not if i want to see the data what is the query select star from employee one what is the table name we changed here employee to employee one right employee one see now the employee one having same data of employee employee name has changed into employee one see now i am going to create another table create create table table employee create table employee employee having employee id that is the next by name that is where cat to and size is 20 i'm giving here next employee address address that is at two or twenty. Next, by this we created one table. Now, see the table. Select star from employee. The data is not inserted till now. See, I want to copy data from employee one to employee. So now I use insert query like this also. Insert into employee employee select start from employee one. That into employee select start from employee one. That is values right insert into employee value of values of select star from employee that is also query is wrong now here uh, see I want to insert some of the column, some of the columns insert into employee employee of uh, id comma e name e name id comma e name 
select select id comma e name from employee one see now i used some columns uh, to uh, copy of previous table data into our new table but the table names and the data types must be same then only we can insert previous table data into our new table see it is inserted or not how to see to this data select from employee employee right see i inserted data of previous table the column names are eid and e name i did not insert e address right that's why it is empty that's why it is empty in this way i can copy data from uh, old table to new table old table to new table see i am going to insert duplicate data into the table into our employee table sorry again we lost power here now we can continue our discussion see i want to insert duplicate data into our table see first i want to display our table to see the table content let us start from employee employee 1 See, we don't have any duplicate data. If I want to insert duplicate data, duplicate record. See, what is the query? Insert into insert into employee one and the values of ID five comma name. You are already uh, there, so I'm going to insert same value means duplicate data. 
equals to HYD salary thirty thousand. Insert into employee. Employee spelling is wrong here. Employee yellow. Okay, now one row is inserted again. Duplicate data. I am going to insert duplicate data six. Data. Hide rather forty thousand. See, in this way, I use it to insert duplicate data into the table. Now, see that con all the content of the table, see, select, start from employee one. See, we have duplicate data, duplicate names. E name contains Siva two times and Surya also two times. If I want to avoid duplicate data and print only unique data from my table then i use distinct keyword what is the keyword distinct keyword means select what is the query for distinct select distinct column names e name e name name from distinct e name from employee one see we have duplicated data here siva two times but we displayed only one time in this way we can avoid duplicate data and we can show only unique data from table if we have duplicate data already Okay. Any other queries as I forgot from previous session? one query group by. group by is very very important for we can see here how to use group by so uh, each address having how many employees i want to display each address having how many employees means regarding to hyderabad how many employees uh, how many employees there regarding to uh, Mumbai, how many employees are there? Regarding to Delhi, how many employees are there? If I want to display the type of data, then I can use group by. For each employee, how many? For each address, how many employees there? If I want to display that data, see the query. Select, select. What I need to display here? Each address having how many employees? E address, E address, select E address, comma, count, count or sum, sum right or count. What I need to use here? Tell me count of both. select e address count of e name from employee one by group by e address. Group by the address.
see bangalore having only one employee mumbai having one employee delhi having one employee hyderabad having three employees in this way we can group the data in this way we can group the data i think you know about to group by query already i explained it group by collect data from multiple records and group the results by one or more column it is used in select statement what is the group by group by collect data from multiple records and group the results by one or more columns one or more columns next if i want to use condition in group by who having salary greater than 20000 only that people can group by and show the result how can i use having having class how can i use having class c what is the query group by query is what select address count of enemas total number of employee from employee one group by address and having having sum of or having e cell greater than 10000 10000 only right okay uh, already time is over we will see other queries from next class okay yes sir thank you sir thank you ma'am hmm guys you can join the opening stem class okay hello okay sir yeah